Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. This is to do with a Roberts radio. And it's a Roberts radio model number. Let's turn it round. I think this one's an R250. Now, before I talk about this particular radio, I'm just going to talk about eBay. There's a lot of radios Robert's radios up for sale and dated 1950 and other dates. Now close examination to the adverts they're selling these from sort of £30, £75 and they're advertising was 1950s then the ones I've seen a lot of them are not 1950s and the reason why they're not 1950s is because of having an FM button. FM or VHF radio on portable radios did not start till 1955. And there was only two stations broadcast to my knowledge. So if it's dated 1950 and it's got an FM on it, it's probably what's called a revival radio. It's a modern radio constructed to look like a 1950s radio. And they say these have been sold as vintage radios, where they're not. And this is a prime example of one. This is a Roberts revival. So it's, it's been constructed to look like a 1950s radio. This one's got FM and it should only have long wave and medium wave. The other thing that's missing is a, a lot of these, the early radios, the 1950s radio, had a turntable on them, which is a black disc on the bottom. And this allowed you to twist them to get the best long wave and medium wave reception. The other thing is to do with this this has got an input for mains adapter and using a modern connector and a lot of the early ones just had a socket so you could plug it into your car area or in your car now opening up the back on this one ignoring this battery at the moment it's a leatherette style the first thing you'll probably notice is it doesn't look like there's much in the case and you are correct but the other thing is MDF I don't remember MDF being around in the 50s and 60s chipboard may have been around but MDF hmm that's a bit suspicious there's no white label of a radio license in it in this one so uh, Hmm. The other thing, if you if you tilt it and look where the handle is on the original ones, the handle screw also held the internal circuitry in. This one's got an extra hole with a screw in it. These are all clues to this being a revival radio and not. 1950s radio I'm not sure when this one was made but it's definitely not a 1950s it looks like a 1950s radio with leatherette but they certainly didn't have MDF a wood they certainly didn't have FM and they certainly didn't have this form of fixing and um, I'll show you in a photograph what an original 1950s radio looks like on the inside. Now that you've had a chance to um, have a look at that photograph and the significantly difference between this and the other one is the other thing regarding let me tip it on its face like that 
is the size of the loudspeaker is another giveaway and the other thing is on the main circuit board it has integrated circuits and there's one there you can see all those solder marks and um, the capacitor for tuning wouldn't be as flimsy as this arrangement with a wheel and it wouldn't have had ICs it would have been individual discrete transistor components and that can be seen on the photo and I'll show you that again so this is constructed to physically look like a 1950s radio but be careful as I said earlier that these are made to look like 1950s radio but they shouldn't demand the high prices they're demanding at the moment because they're not 1950s radios you know they're not vintage they're classic looking maybe but these are called revival radios. Now, this one was faulty, didn't have any sound output, and I was asked, I wasn't asked, sorry, I volunteered to have a go at fixing it. And um, I've actually found that the audio output chip, which is this one, is faulty. And I've replaced it, and it's now working. Um, the other I think it went faulty is because it has got the wrong mains adapter and this mains adapter to power it is a switching adapter or a switch mode power supply well again in the 1950s this wouldn't be a switch mode power supply it would be heavy it would have a big transformer in it if it had one so everything is wrong but it does sound reasonable it does work now and I have fixed the problem um, the calibration is off on it what I mean by that is turn it around. the position of the pointy needle that goes up and down doesn't correspond where it should do on the scale you know it's got radio 5 on there hang on a minute was radio 5 going in the 50s Mm, probably don't think so uh, local radio that's another giveaway I don't think there was local radio stations like there is and that's related to FM that's medium wave Got a signal at the moment. No, I haven't got one. Anyway, um, it's it is fixed, and um, but watch out for these radios. They're not what they seem.